In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most basic forms of circuit protection, and that is the fuse. Now, we find fuses in most gas furnaces. They're usually mounted on the circuit board or around the transformer. So that's why we take a little bit of time and go over this. Okay, a fuse is a simple device used to protect circuits from overloading and overheating. Most fuses contain a strip of metal that has a higher resistance than the conductors in the circuit. This strip of metal also has a very low melting point. Since it has a high resistance, it will heat up faster than the conductors. When the current exceeds the rating on the fuse, the strip melts and opens the circuit. Fuses are one-time devices and must be replaced when the strip or element melts. The cause for the circuit overload must be identified and corrected before replacing the fuse. It's useless just to replace the fuse and not fix the problem that caused the fuse to blow. Plug fuses have either an Edison base or a Type S base. The Edison base fuses are used in older installations and can be used for replacement only. Type S fuses can be used only in Type S fuse holders, otherwise an adapter must be used. Plug fuses are rated up to 125 volts and 30 amps. The picture on the left is a standard plug fuse. Dual element plug fuses are more for circuits with motors in it. Many circuits have electrical motors as the load or part of the load. Motors draw more current when starting and can cause a plain fuse to burn out or open the circuit. Dual element fuses are frequently used in this situation. One element in the fuse will melt when there's a large overload, such as a short circuit. The other will melt and open the circuit when there's a smaller current overload lasting more than a few seconds. This allows for the start larger starting current of an electric motor. Then the next type of fuse is the cartridge fuse. These are used for 230 through 600 volt service up to 60 amps. Okay, and that's a ferro cartridge fuse. From 60 amps to 600 amps, a knife blade cartridge fuse can be used. A cartridge fuse is sized according to its amperage rating to prevent a fuse with inadequate ratings from being used. Many cartridge fuses have an arc quenching element around the element to prevent damage from arcing in severe short circuits. Okay, this is the ferrule cartridge fuse, just slips into the holder. And this is the knife blade cartridge fuse. You see that the end, it actually, if you turn this sideways in the picture, it will look like a knife blade that fits into the fuse holder. A circuit breaker can function as a switch as well as a means for opening a circuit when an overload occurs. Most modern houses and commercial buildings use circuit breakers. Circuit breakers use two methods to protect the circuit. One is a bimetal strip that heats up with a current overload and trips the breaker, opening the circuit. The other is a magnetic coil that causes the breaker to trip and open the circuit when there's a short circuit or other excessive current overload in a short time. And this is just an inside view of the circuit breaker. Okay, you have the contacts, you have moving contacts, there's an electromagnet in there. Okay, you're never going to pop this open, okay? But again, if a circuit breaker trips, you have to find the cause. Now, to troubleshoot a fuse, especially like a cartridge fuse, just take your voltmeter and put one lead on the top, one lead on the bottom when it's connected and in the circuit. If you read voltage, it's an open, okay? It means the breaker is blown or the fuse has blown. You're not going to replace, you're not going to fix it, you're going to replace it. But before you replace it, Go find what caused it to blow in the first place.